During a housing crisis, the Liberal Finance Minister is making things worse. The new capital gains tax will kill investments in Canada and drive up the cost for those who provide housing. Rental experts are saying the consequences of this tax hike would be disastrous in the short, medium and long term, citing concerns for viability of long-term investment. This will lead to less places to rent and more costs to renters. Canadians are already facing the highest average asking rent ever. So how is it fair that the Liberals are putting the brakes on new housing when Canadians can barely afford to rent? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, let's remember that this member is from a party whose leader got seven affordable units built when he was in charge of housing. Let's remember that their housing plan would actually put more tax on home builders. And let's remember that this is the party that believes in cuts, cuts, cuts. They're going to cut dental care, they're going to cut pharmacare, they're going to cut early learning and child. The Honourable Member from Kelowna Lake Country. That member has lost all credibility with Canadians and a job-killing tax on health care homes, farms and small businesses is the last thing that Canadians need right now in a cost-of-living crisis. This new tax won't build any homes. It will only discourage investment of purpose-built rentals. Richard Lyle, residential construction expert, said there's not a chance the Liberals will meet their own housing targets. Housing starts are down and this tax hike will only make it worse. This Prime Minister is not worth the cost. How is it fair that the Liberals are raising taxes when home building starts are down? It's not fair. 